Hey all dear students, welcome to the Quantum Guru. Today I have come up with a very good question of electrostatics from SS Koto. It's question number 3.2 as you can see in your screen. The question states, an electric field line emerges from a positive point charge plus Q1 at an angle alpha to the straight line connecting to a negative point charge minus Q2. So this is a point charge plus Q1 and this is a point charge minus Q2. We know that the electric field line emerges from a positive charge and uh, enter at the negative charge. So there is a line joining Q1 and Q2 and one electric field line that has coming from Q1 is at an angle alpha from line joining Q1 and Q2 and the same electric field line enters at the uh, minus Q2 and the electric field line makes an angle beta from that line at Q2. And that's what the angle we have to find at what angle beta will the field line enter the charge minus Q2. So that is the question. To uh, find the answer for this question, I will need to introduce concept of the solid angle and that is a very easy concept. Suppose this is a ring of radius R, center O and this is the axis of the ring and P is a point of the axis. Uh, let me draw another diagram also like this. Suppose this is a ring and this is a point of the axis. If I join each point of the ring to that point like this, like this, like this, like this, and these points also, these points also like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. Like this. So a solid angle would be formed at this point, kind of a, a 3D angle would be formed. So that 3D angle is called the solid angle. The like, like we define the uh, plane angle radian, similarly to define a solid angle, we need the concept of a sphere. Suppose I have this sphere and in the sphere, if I take some surface of the sphere and the same way I have joined all the points of this circle to this external point P. Similarly, if I join all the point of the part of the surface of the and this is fair to this point. So uh, this kind of a solid angle would be formed. And suppose the radius of this sphere is R. So the definition of this solid angle omega is defined as the area of this part of the sphere. So that area is say S divided by radius, uh, radius square. And when we define solid angle this way, we give the unit of solid angle as steradian. So now uh, this is the kind of a 3D angle. So if I take all the part of the sphere and add all these solid angles, suppose this was the area S1. So similarly, if I take all the area of the surface of a sphere and add all these solid angles. So some of the solid angle at the center would be the summation of all such areas. And we know that the total surface area of the sphere is a 4 pi r square and then divide by r square. So that will get 4 pi steridian. So one thing that we will use that the like in the plane angle in radian, the sum of all angles at a point is 2 pi radian. Similarly, sum of solid angles at a point uh, is 4 pi steridian. So here the same way, this is a circle, radius R, center O, this is a point on the axis P and the all points of the periphery of this circle or ring subtends a solid angle omega at P. So this kind of a cone is formed and for this cone, this theta is the half angle of the cone. So I want to write a relationship between omega and theta without a proof. But intuitively, I will explain why that should be the correct relation. So the relation is given by uh, omega is equal to 2 pi into 1 minus cos theta. Suppose you can verify that if you let theta uh, equal to pi by 2. So suppose this is a cone and if you keep on increasing theta, 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 theta and make it 90. So it will cover the half the universe suppose the suppose the radius of the cone is very large so this way that cone will cover half the universe 
and on this part the sum of solid angle is 4 pi so sum of the all the solid angle on this part would be 2 pi and that is coming from here if you put theta is equal to pi by 2 cos pi by 2 0 so omega is equal to 2 pi sterian that is fine so that is one relation so that we will use so i just uh, told this just to know that the formula because I have given without proof. So, we should have some little bit insight about the formula. So, now this thing can be further simplified to be uh, in terms of theta by 2. So, I can write 2 pi into 1 minus cos theta is 2 sin square theta by 2. So, that is a 4 pi sin square theta by 2. So, if the solid angle omega is there and the half angle is theta so relationship between omega and half angle is omega is equal to 4 pi sin square theta by 2. Now this is the picture given. So q1 and minus q2 are two charges line joining them and one of the so one of the field line is like this. So similarly there will be a lot of such line this is just an upline so there will be same line like this like this like this like this like this so i have take another symmetric line below this line another symmetric electric field line below this so like this and now i want to take a closed surface say this closed surface is say s1 in the immediate neighborhood of q1 very in the vicinity of very close to q1 so the flux through this S1 would be phi S1 would be uh, Q1 by epsilon naught. This is the outgoing flux. But there is a negative charge also. So, I just want to write with a mod. And uh, the flux is proportional to the field line. The field line that is animating from Q1 is spread over the 4 pi solid angle. And suppose Q1 and Q2 are two charges like this. So, minus Q2 is there. So, in the space, the net electric field is the vector sum of the two electric fields because of the Q1 and minus Q2. But if I am at a immediate neighborhood of Q1, I am mean very close to Q1. So, at this point, electric field would be so large, uh, very large that the, if you add uh, electric field of minus Q2 on this part, there contribution would be very negligible because if you add a very a finite thing to a very large thing so the effect will not be appreciable. So in the immediate neighborhood of Q1 and for that matter on minus Q2 also the electric field would be like a electric field of Q1 alone and if Q1 is alone the field lines would be equispaced I mean the angle between two nearest field line would be the same. And what does that mean? So, the all the field lines are spread over 4 pi solid angle. So, distribution of the field line per unit solid angle would be equal because at the immediate neighborhood of Q1, we can treat Q1 as a isolated point charge. So, now what I want to uh, see within this part like on this line there is a field line that is at solid angle and that will be not just two line like like these there would be infinite field lines in the plane you are saying two lines but in a space there would be infinite line at an angle alpha from the line joining q1 and q2 all such field lines which are at angle alpha from charge q1 to minus q2 will lie within this cone like this this is a right circular cone and suppose at the apex of the cone the solid angle is omega 1 like this solid angle is omega 1 and I told you that the distribution of field line around q1 in the immediate neighbor of q1 is uniform per unit solid angle so, in 4 pi solid angle, the flux is, flux is this uh, 
mod q1 by epsilon naught this is this flux is spread over the four pi solid angle so within that cone the flux of field lines is say phi 1 here the flux is phi 1 so phi 1 would be phi 1 would be uh, omega 1 divided by 4 pi into mod q1 by epsilon naught all right and uh, before just before i written the relationship between omega and the half angle of the cone so rewriting that relation that omega 1 would be 4 pi sine square alpha by 2 and there is a 4 pi and then mod q1 by epsilon naught so this 4 pi 4 pi will get cancelled and we will get this thing let me remove this similarly we'll talk about at the minus q2 so here the immediate vicinity of q2 this surface i have taken s2 so total flux the flux is entering here it is a negative charge so total entering flux at minus q2 through this surface s2 and that phi s2 would be a mod q2 this is entering flux if i write with sign that will be negative is this same logic this flux is spread over 4 pi solid angle and this is a line that is entering here at an angle beta from line joining q1 and q2 all such lines would be within this cone and the solid angle at the vertex of this cone is say omega 2 once again distribution of flux in the immediate neighborhood of this charge minus q2 would be uniform and suppose the flux of electric field entering within this cone is say phi 2 so because in the solid angle 4 pi the flux is phi s2 so in the solid angle omega 2 flux is phi 2 so phi 2 would be omega 2 by 4 pi uh, mod q2 by epsilon naught omega 2 again 4 pi uh, sine square beta by 2 and then there was 4 pi here 4 pi 4 pi will get cancelled mod q2 by epsilon naught and remember one thing that flux is proportional to flux through a flux due to some electric field is proportional to number of field line entering so here this field line is leaving q1 and the same field line is leaving at minus q2 so within these cone if i take a one line entering leaving from here that that line has to that line has to enter at minus q2 so within this cone the number of field line that will start from here and uh, from within that cone here the field line will enter and within this cone the flux is phi 1 and within this cone flux is phi 2 flux is proportional to field lines so flux phi 1 must be equal to flux phi 2 phi 1 is equal to phi 2 equate these two phi 1 phi 2 and then this 4 pi 4 pi already got cancelled so you will get sine square alpha by 2 into mod q1 and epsilon naught epsilon will get cancelled and from here you will get sine square beta by 2 mod q2 so that is the relationship so if the charges are given of the known so we we can get that if lines are leaving from one charge at this angle so at what angle it should enter so it was asked to uh, tell what is a beta so from here you can write sine beta by 2 is equal to sine alpha by 2 uh, square root of mod q1 by mod q2 and uh, you can write this beta is equal to twice sine inverse of that sine alpha by 2 into square root of mod q1 by mod q2 and that is our required expression thank you